You have entered the bag show featuring two sock spam and Mr. Wonderful Will. Hey, what's going on? It's Wonderful Will of the Bag Show. We hope all of you are having a great day. Today I have my partner over here too, Sal Spam. Yes, like he said, the worst show in America. Yep. But we still love all of you all. So we hope all ten of y'all. <laughs> now we yeah. got what 40, 40, 40 some subscribers. Well, thank you for this letting our business, letting yeah. the world know. Yeah, yeah. They can see it. Yeah, I know. You can't you lie go, about it. Yeah, go on. No, but you know you can go on the channel and um and so it so it does so it does a show. No, but let's be transparent. You know, it is what it is. But ours are always in millions, though. So yeah, well, when you see forty. That's forty million. Uh, oh, million, so. we using binary numbers, so that's binary. what that means. It's, it's in binary in, a, in the binary system. Yeah, we got we got more viewers than them Kardashian stank <laughs> them stankies. Yeah, we got more than yeah. Kardashians. Yeah, but today we're not going to talk about anything specific. We're going to call this the shooting the breeze day. Well, we just talk about anything, current events or something, you know, maybe something happened to us uh, when we went to the store. So, one thing I like to talk about is this uh, this dude, Gates, <clears throat> from the congressman from Florida. It just been revealed that he, before Trump, before uh, the former president, Trump, uh, term at and he went to him to seek a blanket pardon for him and some of his cronies and came to find out that it was denied due to the ongoing investigation of sex trafficking so what is what is your take on it yeah guilty <laughs> even though he he hasn't had his uh trial but you know dude it seems like the more hypocritical and you know these people stand up trying to grandstand and make them sound like they're right. so much better than everybody. And dirt is always under the rug, man. You know, and, and, it, and it, it starts getting revealed. You know, and them messing with a seventeen-year-old girl and uh, right. you know bragging about it too, yeah, bringing her around. And I think they said some video had recorded some stuff showing it. Yeah, but they said the dude is basically a freak, and they said he was showing other congressmen. People, you know, he would just go up to people and like, show hey, the video. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> right. And, and he even was bragging about the president had called him while he was having sex with someone. Yeah, man. I'm like, dude, you old. Yeah, he was a perv. <laughs> a straight pervert. Yeah, straight up pervert, man. But, uh. And, you know, his old, the grand old part is, is, is separating themselves from him. See, he don't really have too many allies in his own party right now. Yeah. Because yeah, it's not looking good for him, but it's just amazing that he go before he even this uh, investigation was really publicized. He's going to his daddy trying to get a pardon, and I'm pretty sure Trump probably like. I'm glad I didn't give him no pardon because that's really gonna look bad on me because I got problems of my own. So yeah. I think I'm gonna have to distance myself from you. Yeah, yeah. But then he, <laughs> he, he, he tried to make it sound like people were just trying to extort him. You right. know, trying to throw off on the sex sex uh, investigation, you know, and right. brought them, bring girls and bringing them in. And, and I saw that dummy when he was on TV talking about uh, he's had relationships uh, with, with uh, multiple women, but he was always good to them. Any gifts and stuff that he gave them to him was just like gifts and stuff. What? Basically trying to say, well, look. I never paid for it. I didn't do this, you know, but, you know, trying to guy. set himself up. Yeah, <laughs> then, he was just a generous person with him. I'm okay. like, dude, come on, man. You knew you bought that booty. You be buying booty on sale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see, the too bad, man, he should have came to Georgia because the legal, the legal age in Georgia and I think it was, I know, in, was it Mississippi 16. or Alabama is even lower than Georgia, I think. Uh, 15 is the... 15 and under consider a uh, child. It's yeah, called, uh, as long as they're 16 rate. in Georgia, you fine. Yeah, it's legal to yeah. have. And I think, I think is it Mississippi? One of them was like 14 or something, 15 I, I, or something, unless they changed it. I don't know, but yeah. I, I remember it. But you would think Florida's, Florida's would be like maybe eight. <laughs> How crazy <laughs> stuff is in Florida, man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so he done got caught up in that. And, and trying to, you know, throw everything off on him, but knowing he did it. Right. He said, dude, you... 
he brought too many people into his business. When you're doing stuff like that, now you see every every day somebody's popping up saying, you know, he was showing showing videos and this and that. I said, if you was gonna be a freak like that, he should have just kept it to himself, man. You I know, know, and you so know when it came, you know, when the charges came out, people would be like, Oh, I can't believe it. But now charges came out on him and everybody's like, oh, we knew that man. He was showing us, you know, net but naked pictures of him having an orgy, you know, right. so that's, it's not shocking. But that's why I always always say, it doesn't matter what political party you're affiliated with, men, for those who have political aspirations, who wants a career in politics, mm -hmm. if you got some serious skeleton in your closet, stay the, stay the hell out of politics. Yeah. Because you're going to create enemies. And enemies going to do a full background check on you. Yeah. And they're going to talk to people that hated your guts back in the day to get some retribution against you. Yeah. And they will destroy you and ruin your reputation like this idiot did. Yeah, because, you know, look, look man, uh, uh, what's his name? T.I. and his wife, they going through it. Oh, now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a, um, yeah. I haven't really did read an update about them. I guess it's been kind of quiet ever since those allegations against them. Uh, like they involve with like some sexual assault situations. I really haven't read into it because you know typically I don't do all that celebrity mess. But I haven't done any recent updates on anything. Anything you can bring yeah, to I, the light? Yeah, I know they said three more women have come forward uh -huh. about him and his wife, man. And you know one of them, what they said, one of them was twenty. They said he pulled out, pulled out pills and forced her to swallow it and stuff because. And see if they can prove that stuff because some of the stuff when it first came out you just like they just live a freaky lifestyle and, right. and you know hey do what you want to you and your wife and hey, behind uh, closed door you do yeah, what you, you do yeah you freaky but then they started making these allegations about drugging them and having sex with them when they were drunk and stuff and if they can start proving stuff like that yeah like sexual yeah, assaults yeah. that might be a little heat but yeah. I can't speak too heavily on that, and I don't have a lot of information or facts, so I will kind of like decline on that one. But let's go to another subject, man. I, I put out a video a couple of days ago about the state of Utah passing a, um, well, they had added to a child support law where if your soon to be baby mother is need have any prenatal if if, if the, the mother to be has any prenatal uh out of pocket expenses the father soon to be father will have to help pay for those expenses mm. and it is um, as i stated you know it opened up a lot of it has a lot of loopholes in it because if you don't know who like i said if you don't know a hundred percent who the father is so who gonna be responsible for that that yeah, it should be i mean unless unless i just miss something mm -hmm. unless i just miss something um you don't know who the father is yeah but if they to you me, didn't put on anybody i can you say know, you can say you did it yeah but if they know well you know really you know, even if you're married you don't know if it's parents i mean you're the really the parent Unless you get a DNA, because plenty of people walking around, you know, thought their daddy was that. The only one you're sure of is the mother. But uh -huh. really, to me, if it's the man's shit, man, he should be responsible for paying. They both made the baby. But if it comes out after the fact and it's not, you know, he was not really uh, the father, like, man, give him his money. You know, make him well, pay the money back. Man. But that's what I'm saying. It's just too vague because uh, in order to. If I have to pay or to pay child support, mm -hmm. and you question the paternity, how are you going to get a DNA get proved that you are the child? Oh, they father? saying even even if you already, uh, I mean, uh, questioning the paternity. I, I mean, if you questioning paternity, they still make will make you pay. If the only thing is that says the, whoever the father's to be will have to be responsible for the out of pocket expenses. Help the woman like. Just say she like I made an example of. Mm -hmm. Just say her co-payment is twenty dollars, so you gonna have to pay 
ten dollars for her copayment. Yeah. Cause any out of pocket expense. That sounds kind of fair to me if it's if it's your baby. If yeah, if it is if yours. It is. But that's that's what I'm saying. Unless but that's that. <laughs> but what if she doesn't know? It's just too many. It's not yeah. specified. Now what if she have any pre? Okay, she has a pre-existing condition mm -hmm. that that the pregnancy caused her pre-existing pre-existing condition to worsen. Mm -hmm. Is he responsible for that? Oh, he had to pay. You gotta have a surgery. Cause typically, when you pay uh, with my daughter's surgery, mm -hmm. I had to pay a thousand dollars out my pocket before they even play, put one needle in her. Mm -hmm. So should I have to be responsible for that? That's a lot of. It's too many loopholes in that. That I mean, it's too vague. Maybe I just need. Maybe I need to do a little, a little more research. Yeah. Yeah. But that sounds kind of wrong, man. Yeah, ain't you know no kind of sound wrong. It's messed up. Yeah, but you know the court system is not set up for the man to win anyway. So well. Whatever. If you can, um, you know, if, if you really honestly and thank you, because most guys, if they really do think they are the father, they probably wouldn't even have a problem with it. Yeah, I mean, it's just, if but that's if the it, case, if you're a married couple, you know, you, I mean, yeah, wow, you're going to pay for it anyway. Yeah, but if you like one of the Maury Povich women, yeah, there, no, no, I'm talking about there. scenarios like that. Yeah, you get up there, you're like, nah, girl, you, you slept with like five dudes at that party. Why are you pinning the baby on me? Then I would be like, well, I'm not paying. But, but if I had to be ordered to pay something, I need a paternity test. Yeah, you need to prove me that I'm yeah, this but, child's father. Yeah, but that's the bad part. You but can't if you're get pregnant, it till after it's born. That's what I'm saying. That's what <laughs> you. I mean, you can get but, it. It can be done, but it's endangering the the. The baby, though. Yeah, but they should make them payments. You know, she got to, if, if, if it's not, you paying that money back. Yeah, so maybe. that way, mainly, you know, they ought to make them pay, pay back double. Because then that way, they'd be like, if they knew it wasn't a man, they, you know, they they wouldn't be so quick to just pin it on. Because some of them right. just pin it. Did you remember one of our earlier shows that the lady, um, well, that was like one of our first. Our very first, first show, but the pregnancy. That was the very first show? The, uh, Dad by Default. Wow, oh, boy, no, that was another uh, great installment of our show y'all need to go back and watch yes it was yeah, our very lady, first video we put yeah out. you remember the lady she just picked the dude because he was doing put well, his name on the child support yeah, put on, it on the there. birth certificate and yeah. then he was a uh we call it uh dad by default yeah yeah and i see stuff like <laughs> and threatening that. going to jail they were threatening to arrest this yeah. man and he lost end up losing his job and all yeah that lost stuff. his job yeah but see stuff like that they ought to have something written in there if that happens not only will you pay back the, the money that you owe, give them punitive damages too, and make them pay, you know, a, a nice, big, substantial amount of that check, you know, so they can really feel it, so you can get this stuff to stop. Right. Yeah. Yeah, well, man. Yeah. So we're shooting the breeze. Yeah, we just shot the breeze, though. The breeze is about going, man. We're yeah. Gonna, we're going to wrap this show up. Well, we try just, to get it up. Uh, we just continue to go back and. Look at uh, some of our videos, and oh, also, right before we leave, I will be doing a Wonderful Wheels another Greatest song. Hit. Oh. No, not another song. I, be, I mean, I, I know I took a break from making all the songs. You gonna make a playlist? I told you, I told you before, make a playlist. Yeah, though. I'm gonna do a playlist, Wonderful yeah. Wheels Greatest Hits. <laughs> um, that I will be putting that out because a lot of the, those songs, <laughs> the awesome songs I put out, is uh, scattered everywhere over the yeah. internet. So they're only here. It's not. It's not tubes. Hey, yeah, that's right. I produced it. I wrote the songs. It's all wonderful wheels. Yeah, so they can get on there. He's going to create a playlist, and you can just go on there when your woman comes over. Y'all having a romantic night? Hit play button on song one. Play all the way to the end. You can hear, you can hear wonderful wheels. And yeah, baby, I love you more than some waffles and some syrup. <laughs> And I, I would recommend Forever My Love and Peaches and Roses. Baby, Those... I love you more than some peaches and some roses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, well, again, we did thank you all for continuing to support the B.A.G. show. The Broccoli Ain't Green show. For those who don't know what the, the bag. The world's worst show. The world's worst show. For those who don't know what that means, is the Broccoli Ain't Green Worldwide show. There's people over in Uganda watching this show. Uh, people in, people from Mars listening to the bag. Worldwide show. show. You got aliens listening to the <laughs> show. 
Alien. <laughs> what oh. Arnold used to say on what says, uh, let's not get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, y'all. Have a great day, great week, and a great life. And always remember, God is love and love is God. Peace. Yeah, don't let me take my microphone. Hey, this wonderful Wheel of the Bag Show. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Bag Show. We appreciate your support in advance. Peace.